Hello everyone, this is Cybertronian Beast, and let's talk Transformers. Well, it's time for another collection update, and holy crap, have I been busy. Uh, I have been to a toy show. Uh, Toys R Us has had a sale recently. Um, a lot of the other smaller stores in the area that don't generally carry toys have started getting some in for Christmas. So it's been busy around here. As you can see, my table is full. I've had to get a little bit further back here so I can get everything in in one shot. So I'll do some zooming here and bear with me. I hope I can get them all in. Let's start at the top here. These are the GDO Scout class figures. That there is Dead End. Next to him we have Sandstorm. Next to him we have Brawl. And next to him we have Laserbeak. Fantastic looking figures. All of these GDO Scout class figures. They are uh, based on uh, other Scout class size figures. Uh, Brawl, for example, is uh, Breacher. I can't remember exactly what set it is. It's either uh, a Hunt for Decepticons or Reveal the Shield, but uh, that's the Breacher mold, and it's uh, a great mold. And all the, the other three I can't name just because I haven't done any research looking for them, but they're fantastic. The paint apps on them is amazing. You get one in hand and you'll notice uh, right off the top of your head that the paint just pops. Let's get down here in front, and you can notice right off the top the loose figures. I've got animated Voyager class Starscream, and that's a, an awesome figure. We've got leader class animated Ultra Magnus, 100% complete. Uh, other than the boxing and packaging and whatnot. This guy is awesome. What an awesome figure this is. Uh, in front there we've got Classics Prowl. Uh, I am missing his uh, his gun, but other than that he's uh, complete. On the other side here, right down in front we've got Armada Blur. What a weird little figure. I picked him up because he was only four bucks at this little toy show, but uh, yeah, he's a he's an interesting little figure. I'll, when I do a review on him, I'll uh, I'll mention the, his little uh, idiosyncrasies. But uh, yeah, I, I don't have a I don't have his guns. Um, and there's a small little race car or race figure that I, I it does have a name. It does have a fig. I, there is a figure that goes with him, uh, and it, it does have a name, but I don't have it. It basically was simply the figure that I got. Um, beside him is Transmetal Megatron. As a lot of you will remember from my early videos, I broke my Transmetal Megatron right in the middle, right in the waist, while I was doing my review. And I bought this one simply to replace him. It cost me 10 bucks for a Transmetal Megatron. 100% complete. And in the back there, the last loose figure I got, that's, uh, that's Leo Convoy. And that is from Beast Wars 2. And that's just a really cool figure. Turns into a white lion with a gold mane. And he's really awesome. Uh, has no has no uh, guns or, or missiles. Unfortunately, the guy that I bought all of these loose figures off of, uh, he didn't seem to believe in keeping the guns or the missiles. Um... He just liked to transform the figures back and forth, and keeping guns and missiles was a uh, was a pain in the ass for him. So, so yeah, that uh, that sucked. Let's get these loose figures out of the way and reveal the other figures from behind. Like I said, I have been busy. Let's move 
move this one here. Move some Ultra Magnus. Okay, so right up in front, front and center, we've got Fall of Cybertron, Optimus Prime, Deluxe. This is a tiny little figure. Very small looking in the package. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll see how he looks when I get him out. But, I mean, I've got uh, the Cybertronian Optimus Prime based on War for Cybertron. And it's ginormous by comparison. Off to the side we have the remaining two GDO Deluxes that I hadn't gotten yet. We've got Cliff Jumper and Swerve. Definitely not the two most popular. Um, those two uh, are the Wheelie and the Springer. But I figured since I already had Wheelie and Springer I might as well complete the set of four. So that's why I've got Swerve and Cliff Jumper. This makes the uh, Cliff Jumper the third time I've gotten the first edition Cliff Jumper mold. I have first edition Cliff Jumper just straight up. I have the Terracon Cliff Jumper, uh, the San Diego Comic Con version, and now I have the GDO one. So that's three times I've gotten this mold. Off to the other side of Optimus Prime, we have Junk Heap. Junk Heap I got at XS Cargo here in London. And uh, he's a great little figure. I'm glad I have him because I do have Retgar. And this is uh, this is the other Junkie on for uh, my Retgar figure. So I'm glad I got him. Beside him, Jazz from Fall of Cybertron. Had to get Jazz, obviously. Completion of uh, Wave 1. So I'm just waiting on Wave 2 now, the, uh, the Bruticus guys. But, uh, but yeah, so that's a completion there. Jazz looks good. I mean, there's some people that really don't like the Jazz figure, but uh, obviously Shockwave was the, was the main piece of Wave 1, and I got him a while ago. So, so yeah. All right. There I have one more figure hidden behind Optimus. Also from XS Cargo, I grabbed Sky Shadow. I simply grabbed Sky Shadow because I had never had Sky Shadow before. And um, I've never had the mold. I know Sky Shadow was very popular when they released him. And I was, uh, I was happy to find him there. So, um, yeah, I grabbed Sky Shadow. Him and Junk Heap were both $8.88 a piece. So I grabbed Sky Shadow and Junkie from XS Cargo and was uh, quite happy with that. Now that's a lot of figures and uh, I'm not done yet. Can you believe it? I'm not done yet. Get, get some of these guys out of the way here and reveal the best part. That's right. You know it. That's a masterpiece. Optimus Prime. MP10. And that's a masterpiece Thundercracker. I have been a busy, busy boy. Masterpiece figures, man, they are awesome. These two, for, these two uh, new ones amazing. Thundercracker. I know the light's kind of in the way there. Let's see if I can fix that. Doesn't want to go. I'll get you a better picture of it. Obviously you can see all the pictures of the figures on my Facebook page. I take uh, as good of pictures as I can with um, and post them on my Facebook page. But uh, Masterpiece Thundercracker, amazing figure. Um, they fixed the air. They it looks like they fixed the issues that they had with uh, Skywarp, and he just looks awesome. The blue, the blue is spot on to uh, G1. 
and Masterpiece Optimus Prime MP10. What can I say about MP10 that I haven't that hasn't already been said by other people? But he just looks amazing. I mean, I'll get uh, I'll get more into him when I review him, but I already have MP1, so I'll definitely do a side by side comparison from MP1 to MP10. But uh, this masterpiece Optimus Prime looks amazing. Comes with the trailer, with a little spike figure that goes inside. That's awesome. But uh, but yeah, it's been a busy, busy last couple weeks for me buying figures. Um, I've been thankful for sales, thankful for for discounted figures and promotional figures. It's been uh, it'll be tough to get all these figures at re regular retail. But, uh, but yeah, it's, there's going to be some good reviews coming up uh, in the next little bit, folks. So uh, hold on tight. We're going to go for a ride. Anyway, this has been Cybertronian Beast, and I'll talk to you later.